What's going on, y'all? Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and all that good stuff. It's your boy, Will. Got a tutorial here for the new K3 boxes that I am actually selling that have the games loaded on them. Um, of course, you plug your box up, you get your standard interface. You got your Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and Sega Genesis here. And you got your Bluetooth controller when you purchased a box from me if you got one or got two. Notice the controller has a charging cord at the top, Android style. So you just simply plug that cord in. The cord comes in the box, actually. So this box is already set up. Of course, you know the box also has your standard remote control. So, of course, you still got your Cody functions. So you go back to this. I'll show you. Take your remote or your controller. Go down to Cody. Of course, you got your Cody bill. You already know how the TV stuff works. So I'm not going to go into that. That's in another tutorial I've already covered. But I give you a real quick tutorial on the games. But, of course, your Cody stuff still shows up here. So we're going to go back to the home screen. Now with the controllers, you take it out the box. It's not turned on. How you turn this control on is very, very simple. You simply just hold down the start button for about two to three seconds and the controller will turn itself on. So I'm going to turn it on now for you. Hold down the start. One, two, and there it is. It comes on and then it blinks for a second. Then it goes solid blue. Solid blue means it's paired to the box. So now you can use this remote, as you can see, to control the box. Now to load up your games, very simple. Simply press the A button, because I've already set up your buttons for you. So Nintendo only has two buttons, which is B and A. That's what that's set up for. You go to Nintendo, you simply press A, boom, it cleans up this menu. You go to Load Game, which is right here. You press A on the remote, and all your games are here. You can press up to start at the bottom of the list if you're looking for the games that go in the lower letters, or you press down to start at the top and work your way down. All these games are here. So you can scroll through as tons of games, literally 700 plus games here for Nintendo, as you can see. This is a very simple process. So once you find the game you want, for instance, we go to Mario 3, just an example. Okay, you press the letter A. Now this, I've already launched this game, so I see this menu. Normally you would just go straight to the game, but because I had already played it, it gives you a chance to resume where you were. So in this case, I hit continue, and here I am. And that's it. Now, all your buttons still work the same. Select, start, B and A. And this Turbo B and A I set up for you in case you play like a shooter game. But now here's the thing. Let's say you want to go back and you want to play something else. Now you're going to have to actually, you can't use the remote control to this. You got to actually use your remote that came with the box. So you pause your game. You want to tell you want to quit playing that. You want to play something else. See this back arrow where my thumb is? You simply press the back arrow one time. Okay? When you do, it's going to ask you, do you want to really exit? Now, if you go to yes, it takes you back to the main screen, and you go back. You can choose Nintendo, Super Nintendo, or Genesis. If you choose no, and hit OK on your remote, so you go to no, hit OK, it brings you back to the list of games. And you can scroll up and select the next game you want to play. So, we say we go to Mario Brothers 1. There we go. So now you're back to your controller. And that's it. Let me not get carried away with that because I keep playing that. But anyway, that's it. So you use your back arrow. And this time we're going to go back to the main menu. So you use your back arrow here. So using the back arrow, you press back once, really exit. This time you hit yes. You hit yes, goes back to your main screen. Boom. So now we go over to Super Nintendo. Same process. Pick up your remote because it's already on. And after a few minutes, if after about five or six minutes after you leave this remote sitting without using it, it will turn itself off to conserve battery. You just simply hold start to turn it back on. And that's it. So now you're back on Nintendo, same process. Hold down, press the letter A, load up. One, you got your list of games here, just like on Nintendo. Same process. You just scroll through. So you got all your Super Mario's there, Super High Impact Football, which I love. But yeah, we can scroll through. As you can see, it's hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of games. So we're going to look for Mario Kart. That's one of my personal favorites. 
Here's your Mega Man X's. I think we passed Mario Kart. Did I pass it? I think it's under the S's. I may have passed it, y'all. Hold on. All right. So... Yeah, I probably definitely passed it. Sorry, y'all. Yep, here it is. Super Mario Kart. Boom. So, again, I've played this already, but normally you see the game load straight up. And there it is. Same thing happens, though. You know, you got your start button works to pause the game. But... Yes. But yeah, start button works to pause the game. But again, if you want to go back, you simply hit your back button on the remote here. And you choose no. You got your list of games. You go back and press yes. You're back at your main screen again. So go over now. Take a Genesis. Same exact process. Press your A button. Um, you got all your games. Again, hundreds and hundreds of games. So, of course, you know, Sega wouldn't be Sega without Sonic the Hedgehog. So, you know, we, uh, there we go. Press A. Game loads right up. You got the start button. Now, of course, on the Sega, I've set the buttons. You know, Sega only has three buttons. So what I did was I set A right here, B right here, and C right here. So A, B, C. And of course, that yeah, works just fine. So again, now you pause the game, you want to switch, you come back to your remote, hit your back arrow, ask you do you really want to quit, you say no, it brings you back to the list of games. You hit yes. And you're back at your main screen. And that's literally how you control the game. Very simple process. I made it as simple as possible when I set these boxes up so that it wouldn't be too much difficulty in actually navigating and learning this. Once you play about three or four games and learn this process, very, very easy. Now, when you're done with the remote, you simply hold your start button for a few seconds. Lights go off. And the remote's turned off. No lights. So that means you're completely turned off. So... And then it's ready for you to simply cut it back on again whenever you want to use it or whatever. You simply charge it up by plugging in your cable. You can use your Android phone charger if you want. Or simply use the charging cord that came with the remote and plug it into the side of the box on the USBs. So it's got four USBs. You can charge your controllers up as long as the box is powered on. So as long as this light is on blue, it will charge up the controller if you plug it in with the cable that came with the controller. So that's a way to charge your controllers without having to use an adapter. Otherwise, if you got an Android phone or this style adapter... You can plug it up. It'll charge itself up and the lights will turn off when it's charged. Very simple. And that's it. You guys have a good one.